Hello everyone, this is Yekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals to x square e power x. Firstly, let's find out the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 1. Sorry. Order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y minus 2 dy plus 1 into y y equals to x square into e power x. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Now we can write the equation as d square y by dx square minus 2 into dy by dx plus y equals to x square e power x. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Right? Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals to x square into e power x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1, and q is x square e power x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation, which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find complementary function using the rules of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting RHS to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, our homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we will find yp using 1 y of d into q. Right? So now let's find yc. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d square minus 2d plus 1 let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1 then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0, which is an expansion of a square minus 2ab into b square form, right? This looks like a square minus 2ab plus b square, which is an expansion of a minus b whole square, right? Again, we can write it as m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. When m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Since m minus 1 is repeating twice, so we'll get m equals to 1, 1. Equal roots. Therefore, m equals to 1, 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation, say f of m equals to 0 which are equal. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are equal, then yc will be, since we are having two roots which are equal, so we will get two terms under bracket, c1 plus c2x into e power that equal root into x. Then our complementary function looks like yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power for m, m equals to 1. We will get 1 into x, which is equal to c1 plus c2x into e power x. Therefore, yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power x. Now, let's find yp, particular integral.
we can find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d and q where f of d is d square minus 2d plus 1 and q is x square into e power x. So this is of 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form. Right now we'll shift e power ax towards left by replacing d with d plus a and later we'll operate a v with 1 by f of d plus a. Right? So now compare e power x with e power ax and for a equals to 1 we'll find d plus a which is equal to d plus 1. Now let's shift e power x towards left. We'll get e power x into 1 by now d plus d with d plus 1. We'll get d plus 1 whole square minus 2 into d plus 1 plus 1 into x square. Right? This is equals to or instead of writing d square minus 2d plus 1, we can just write d minus 1 whole square. Right? Into x square into e power x. Now shift e power x by replacing d with d plus 1. Right? Then this becomes e power x into 1 by d plus 1 minus 1 whole square into x square here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled and we'll get e power x into 1 by d square into x square. Okay? Or you can just go with the flow. e power x into 1 by d plus d with d plus 1 will get like this. Is equals to e power x into 1 by d square plus 1 plus 2d minus 2d minus 2 into plus 1 is minus 2 plus 1 into x square here plus 2d minus 2d gets cancelled. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2 gets cancelled, right? We'll get e power x into 1 by d square 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2 into x square which is equals to e power x into 1 by if 2 minus 2 gets cancelled, we'll get e power x into d square of x square. Right? We'll get the same thing. Now yp becomes e power x into, we are having 1 by d square into x square, right? Let's split 1 by d square as 1 by d into 1 by d. And operate x square with 1 by d. If d is a differential operator, then 1 by d is an integral operator. We will get e power x into 1 by d into integral x square dx, which is equal to e power x into 1 by d into integral x square dx is x cubed by 3. Again, we can write it as e power x by 3 into 1 by d into x cube, which is equal to e power x by 3 into integral x cubed dx is equals to e power x by 3 into x power 4 by 4 is equals to e power x into x power 4 by 3 fours are 12. Therefore, yp equals to x power 4 into e power x by 12. Now we are having yc and yp, right? So let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc, we are having c1 plus c2x into e power x plus yp. x power 4 into e power x by 12. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.